Welcome to 1407 Great Monkey Lane. This live memory of the X Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay, today we're going to be reviewing X Men Red Four. Now, Al Ewing is doing his damn thing, and with he has um, Federico Blee as the artist, and I like. The, Okay, I I saw a couple other reviews before putting this up because this book, this issue, had a lot to unpack. I mean, it's talking about life and death. It's talking about the ramifications of what happened after uh, the X Men reveal to the world that they've beaten death. They had the resurrection protocols, and. What I've seen is that the rest of the universe are a bunch of haters, except for a couple. I mean, okay, so we start off with the great seat, the great circle of Morocco, where Magneto is talking with the rest of the council without Storm being there. And they're all talking about. Uh, they reject this notion because a life, a life without death is no life at all, or some or some backwards. I don't get it. I, and then we get to the uh, Great Galactic Council where we get Storm, Chakala. I don't. Um, we also get. The Kree Scroll Empire, the uh, Utopian Kree Empire, mm -hmm. the Soul System. Mm -hmm. The Galactic Rim Collective and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it's really funny how like that, like, no, that's wrong. Because, all right. So a high profile murder happens. Yeah, and uh, who happens to be a mutant and they're talking about whether or not they should bring her back or them. And we just get so many, like the Galactic Rim is hating because they haven't, and the only reason why is because they haven't figured it out. Um, Everybody else, with the exception of Richard Ryder, Nova, he's okay. He's a, like he's the only one who is okay with it. Everybody else has some sort of problem with it because uh, it's brought like, oh, what is it? What what does life mean if there's no death? That's this means you're mortal. This means you can bring back a tyrant at any point, and like wow the hate is real that's and you know the thing about it is with the shiar you can't really trust them because they're always on that shady stuff they always like if you're reading mirage right now this is the twenty five thousand six hundred time they have a secret against the rest of the universe and they're not saying nothing and they're quiet but the third story is uh this is the aftermath of uh sunspot this is after sunspot after sunspot he um he uh he gets hatched from his egg and he's and he's met up with the five in Jean gray and he's like isn't Charles, isn't the professor usually here? Because I know that he likes to do this himself. And Gene tells him like, he can't be here right now. He's, uh, uh, he's resting. He had a really long night. And that's when we see Rockslide. Rockslide and uh, Roberto 
have a deep conversation about life and death. Um, rock slide, this rock slide, if you remember from Exosaurs, is who got killed, is now the combination of every rock slide. And he's so philosophical, there's a gentle beast mm -hmm. behind it, and it's a really great story. Uh, before go coming up with this review, because there's a lot to unpack, I went over to comic book university my big bro and j man and uh they had very different takes on this which i'm kind of in the middle j man he, he like he thought this was boring there's like no action there's no suspense and uh bill at work at comic book university he's like this is a great philosophical issue it talks it talks about what's going on. like where do the mutants stand? And I'm kind of in, I'm kind of in, I'm tend, I'm tend to agree with Professor Bill because, like, yes, the X Men is about action, big heroes, and like, but this, this is what also what it's about, too. This is something about the new age of Krakoa that we need to address. We're seeing how the rest of the universe is reacting to this new information. And um, it's beautiful. I can't wait to see how humanity feels about it because yeah, we've seen the rest of the universe, but I wanna see how like the Atlanteans feel about it. I wanna see how the Inhumans, the, the Avengers, regular people feel about it because you're gonna get a lot of hate. I'm giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This book has not done me wrong. I love it. It is like, on average, it's like four and a half, if not a five, because wow, I'm anxious to see the next issue. So, 1407 Great Monkey Lane, signing out.